Brewer wants a three. Brown with the rebound. Ball State not waiting for Akron to get back in position. Anna Clefane draws the foul. And that's what we've seen from Anna Clefane throughout this season. She is just such a leader for Ball State. She is, again, just so consistent. She's, she gets to the free throw line a lot, has a really good mid-range. And like I said earlier, she doesn't force anything. She just kind of takes what the game gives her and is very efficient from the floor. Anna Clefane, double digits in the last seven games. Connects on the first. 52% from the field this year, 71% from the free throw line. The end one doesn't fall, but Clefane gets the rebound. August daughter, no one buyer. Count it from injury of last season. Ball State with another rebound off a free throw. That's a foul call. That'll be on the floor. Molly Neitzel will pick it up. The Akron coaches do not like to see that miss, miss Fox out. Coach now in for Ball State. Made her debut of this season. Just last game it for five minutes. Clefane drives to the lane and gets fouled. And Ball State is just seeming to find everything going their way right now. They are. A lot of credit to them. They're really seeking that. Clefane averaging over 10 points per game. One of the four players averaging double-digit figures for the Ball State Cardinals. Ball State on an 8-0 run in the last minute and six seconds. Four. A turnover for Ball State again. Jordan Dawson. Out of control, but called the foul. And Anna Clefane will pick up a foul. That'll be her second on the night. Third on the night. Anna Clefane has been really the glue for Ball State the last couple of seasons. Missed her freshman year with that ACL injury. And then the last two seasons, though, she has really put Ball State together as a whole. She has. I really love her game. She just does all the little things, doesn't force anything, has a really good mid-range jumper, gets out in transition, makes free throws. Again, she just does all the little things and is kind of the glue for the Cardinals. She still has a few fouls to give before Akron shoots free throws. Four seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Ball State looking for a big stop. Six seconds on the shot clock. Kendall Miller. Stolen away from Anna Clefane. Ball State has numbers. Clefane, the take to the cup. And it's in. And Ball State ties things up with 1.7 seconds remaining. And man, it's exciting. Once again, Anna Clefane is the glue for this Ball State team. She got into some foul trouble, was out for a while, but coming up with a really tough steal and a clutch finish with under two seconds left. Look at this finish. Two Akron girls around her. Anna Clefane coming in clutch for Ball State. The steal and the finish. Double digit points in the last seven games. The first seven games of the season, she didn't see nearly as much points as she is scoring now. And like you said, Anna Clefane is the glue for Ball State. 15-footer for Isaga's daughter. Rebound, Ashlyn Brown. Clefane, strong take to the cup. Hands everywhere, and Clefane ends up with it. Foul caught on the floor. Lanasia Brewer will pick it up. Both of these teams really getting after it, getting on the floor. They know how big every possession is in overtime, and... Clefane draws a foul. A couple big free throws coming up. And when you have four fouls, do you stay as aggressive as you have been, or do you lay off? All but on defense, you know, just got to be smart, can't bring your hands down. So I think definitely dial them back. Freeman from deep. No good. Clefane with the rebound. Zips ahead by five. Clefane, 
take to the hole. Colleen Neitzel draws the foul, and that'll be foul number five for her as she will foul out. Well, we see who Coach Sally's going to out of that timeout with Brown out. Anna Clefane, the consistency. Ran a nice little play for her. She was able to attack the basket, get to the foul line pretty quickly. Big free throw from Anna Clefane. Eight games in a row with double digits. 12 points for Annika Payne. 